What's up guys, Flame Victini here. Today we are back for another World Cup game, but this time it is not someone else's game. Finally, I am playing in World Cup. So this is gonna be my round two game versus Ben Gay. Ben Gay is representing US West. I am of course on US East. Um, at this point we had won the series 7-2. So this this last game was meaningless in terms of the series, but I wanted to play and well, Brofist was in, but then Brofist wanted me to get a chance to play. So here I am playing Ben Gay, and look at what his team. He has brought some nasty Mega Steelix, Alamomola, Gudra, Weezing, Stall. Oh my God, straight heat. So looking at the team matchup, I have brought a Manaphy team um, that I built. I thought Manaphy was really good versus Ben Gay, and I am actually using just the regular old Ice Beam Energy Ball set, even though people love HP Fire running coverage like Shadow Ball along it. I really want to just go with standard Ice Beam Energy Ball versus Ben Gay, and it turns out to be the best set against his team. Uh, I have the Energy Ball so I can hit the Mola immediately in case, he ever, in case I ever need to Oko it. Um, after a boost, of course, I have the Ice Beam for Gudra. I do need to get Chip on it. I could do that through Rocks, probably, or through my T-Tar Pursuiting it. Um, I can, I mean, his Clefable could very well be unaware. I'm actually kind of thinking that it might not be, just because Taunt, Willowis, Talonflame completely destroys Ben Gay if he's unaware of Clef. And he doesn't really have any way to beat Taunt Wisp Talonflame if his Clef is unaware. Plus, there's the Hazard Pressure, and he does not really have Hazard Control. So it might very well be Magic Art Clef, so I'm keeping that in the back of my mind. Batman, if he could just sweep him, provided that I get an opportunity to Tail Glow, I weaken the Gudra, and I. Well, if I can remove the Torn, that's bonus. But, um. And I do have Healing Wish on my Latias. Which is one reason why I brought Latias instead of Latio, so I have a second chance with Manaphy if I need to. And Scizor is also looking to be my secondary win con. I definitely need to weaken that Weezing or remove it so that it's in range of Bullet Punch. And theoretically, um, I can beat Mola if it doesn't Scald Burn me, and I can beat Lix as long as it does not have like Fire Fang or something like that. And the, if the best of Lix can do is Roar me out or Dragon Tail me out then last month Scizor can always win or I can just eventually chip Steelix down. And then if everything else that can beat uh, Scizor on Ben Gay's team is removed, then Scizor will just win. So those are my main two win cons, Scizor and Manaphy. And T-Tar I think is going to be important because it has the power of Banded to hit that Torn especially. And my Torn is a big nuisance to his team. Nothing wants to take a knockoff other than Steelix and that Steelix gets Heat Wave. So knowing how well Torn matches up, against him. I am actually going to lead off with it as he leads off with his Gudra. I think it's I think it's pretty obvious I'm going to go for a knockoff and he doesn't want to lose his Gudra because it helps him beat my Manaphy. But I just go for the safe knockoff anyways. He does pull the switch to Celix. I'm just going to go straight for the Heat Wave right here knowing that he'll probably get up his rocks this turn and that actually does very little damage but I'm going to U-turn right here knowing that he won't want to take another Heat Wave. He actually goes into his Tornadus so I decide to go into my T-Tar, um, I, I think I do just click Stone Edge right here. The reason I do so is because he's not going to go into his Steelix directly, he has the Mola, he has Regenerator, he has no reason not to go to it right here and see what I want to do. And I didn't want to go for Pursuit because it wouldn't really help me too much in the long run, and by Stone Edging the Mola on the switch in, I could gain some momentum right here, he's definitely not going to risk his Mola this turn. And he's most likely going to go to a Steelix, so I take the opportunity to pull a switch back into my Lando T on the Steelix. Now I want to point out that his Mola did not recover Leftover's recovery, so it is probably Rocky Helmet Mola, and that is going to become uh, of note later on in the game. And it does make my Scizor, I guess, take more damage, but um, it's still a game about Scald burning my Scizor, otherwise Scizor will beat Mola. But um, I guess Helmet damage. Anyway, so I get... I use this opportunity to get out my rocks. I think that's very important because I need the chip on the torn so my banded T Tar can put more work, so my Manaphy can put more work, so everything really can do more work. And right here, I don't think I can afford to switch because if I do switch, I mean, I can, 
if I want to let his Steelix get a wish pass, and I don't. I really don't want his Steelix to get a wish pass. So I decided that SD is my best course of play. Um, this way, Scold, Scold can put him put me in range of a hurricane from Torrent, but unless it doesn't burn, it's not really putting too much pressure on me, and this Lando can put a ton of pressure on his team to the point where I force him into Weezing, and this is exactly what I wanted, because Weezing is his best answer to my Scizor. So I'm just going to take the opportunity to Stone Edge, and that thing tanks! That did 66, that's a plus 4 Stone Edge from Lando T, that is insane. But, um, I go for another Stone Edge here, and Bengay reveals the Pain Split, that's annoying, because he's back up to 50, and that can get troublesome, and I did think that he would switch to his Molar right here, but instead he decides to stay in and haze my SD away. This is perfectly fine with me, I'm really happy to get that 32% off on the Weezing. And right here I pull a switch into the Manaphy. The reason I did so is because I figured that if his Weezing isn't really doing anything more to my Lando T, it's already removed my boost, it's already burned me and I'm already almost dead. And he's either going to switch out to his Mola, or he's going to set up a layer of T-Spikes. And if he wants to set up a layer of T-Spikes, I'd rather have my Manaphy in. So I can do some damage, go out later, defog, healing wish, do all that stuff, and get Manaphy in. Because Manaphy is really looking to be my major win con outside of Scizor. So I do pull a switch into Manaphy, as he does pull a switch into Torn. Uh, I guess expecting me to either SD or not Stone Edge, or even if I did Stone Edge, maybe he could take it. But I don't want to stay in with my Manaphy on this Torn for sure. So I'm just going to sack my Lando T. And he actually goes for the taunt right here to stop any possibilities of me tail glowing, I guess. And that taunt actually surprised me. I was thinking this was Assault Vest Horn. And we don't learn this later. I mean, he goes for the U-turn right here. And it because of the Intimidate, I'm able to... I mean, I tank it without the Intimidate anyway. And the Bandit Pursuit just takes this thing out. So it wasn't actually very fat as I thought it would be. And it turns out it was actually like some itemless acrobatics taunt set he told me later so that's kind of interesting uh i definitely wasn't expecting a taunt from that thing for sure <laughs> but yeah that's kind of interesting and pursuing it's really good for me because it means my manaphy is not pressured as much because with torn around he has the op he has the opportunity to weaken me and put me in range of other mons, you turn around, stuff like that. And just removing the torrent just removes a lot of his offensive pressure and it turns the game into really about my offensive pressure and removes his ability to really pressure me. Although we'll see it's not actually completely true later on. Anyway, what's that Gutra? So he does go to his Mola right here and I'm gonna pull a switch straight into my Manaphy as he goes for a wish. And by doing this, I'm kind of pushing him to not go into his Weezing or his Steelix because I can't afford to let those get healed up and lose the progress I made with my Lando T and my Torn for Scizor because I do want to keep the option of Scizor Sweep in the back of my mind. Now here, I kind of wanted to predict a Gudra switch right here because it's pretty obvious. Instead, I decide to just Scald and try to burn this thing since, I, I mean, I could have I could have doubled the T-Tar, I just didn't feel so safe doing so. I mean, it, it could have been beneficial for me to do so. Or even even Torn, but I felt like Scald had less downfalls in that moment, as I could always just sack, I mean... Anyway, so... Yeah, the Scald go, gets a crit on the Gudra, and that crit actually tells me a lot. It tells me that this Gudra does not have as much special defense as I thought it would. I actually go into my Torn right here, thinking I can live anything, and oh my god, that Draco Meter does 63%. That is actually a choice specs Gudra, and that's a low roll. That's actually a low roll right there. Um, Yeah, that's not min roll, but it's near min roll. I ran the calc, because I was like, how the heck did Draco do 63? Because I am AP Torn with max HP. So that's a really strong Gudra, and that's his... Yeah, <laughs> that's a strong Gudra. So... I actually make a mistake right here, I completely forget about the Rocky Helmet on the Mola, and I click U-Turn, so down goes my Torn. That's a that's a poor mistake on my end. Torn had a lot of utility this game, 
but I think it's gonna be okay. I go into my Manaphy right here knowing I can get off a Tail Glow and really pressure his team as he misses a Toxic. And that's really, really unfortunate. If he hit the Toxic, I mean, I still think I would have won if he hit the Toxic because of the value of Latias at this moment. Latias does a lot of damage to Venge and it forces in Clef, which allows me to like get in my T-Tar, get in my Scizor, and also Latias has the utility of healing wishing up my Manaphy, where I can let this Manaphy take toxic damage, I can get a kill, I can get two kills, and then I can save, switch out, sack T-Tar something, get a healing wish off of Latias later, and then just start to pound through Venge's team. I really am thinking at this point that the way he's played his Clefable, it's really not unaware, otherwise he would have been trying to use it to beat Manaphy. So, he misses the Toxic, and he actually stays in right here. He was fearing me going for a second Tail Glow and just outright sweeping his team. If I were him, I would have sacked Weezing. Going for a second Tail Glow is ex I feel like it was kind of risky, because at the same time, I had no idea whether or not his Clef was unaware or not. So I'd rather fire off- I, I mean, I have a pretty good idea that it's a Magic Guard, I think. But it's a stall team, it very well could be unaware when he has no other unaware user. And I just didn't want to run the risk. I felt like I could I was I felt like I was in a position where I could afford to just not go for the clean sweep right away, knowing that I can get the chip damage on the Scudra with the stealth rocks and eventually put it later into range of ice beam, especially with the sand. And he misses a Draco Meteor right here. And I thought this was bad for him. It turns out this Gudra is actually very, very fast. I mean, it makes sense because it specs Gudra, so... The the Gudra takes me out with the Draco right there. I think I could have actually gone to Scizor if I wanted to, because it was very unlikely that he would go for a fire move on a plus three mana if he about to sweep his team. But I think it's okay. I think I'm pretty okay with losing my Tita right there, honestly. And really, the only thing I was worried about at this point was with the Mola gone, I was only, only worried about Fire Fang Steelix, although it seemed very unlikely. So I'm just going to go for the SD right here, knowing he's locked into Draco Meteor. I need to be careful. Um, the thing is about the Gudra, it is choice locked, and that's very beneficial to me, because the only coverage, the only way it can hit Manaphy hard is Draco Meteor, or the very odd Thunderbolt, which he likely does not have. Draco Meteor allows Scizor to set up. And his Mola is gone, his Steelix is weakened, and I have Roost, and I can I can tank Earthquakes and recover, heal like 10% HP off of Earthquakes with my own Roosts. So my Scizor is going to beat the Steelix 1v1 unless it has an odd move that allows it to beat my Scizor. And the thing is the Gudra, if it goes for a Flamethrower, my... If, if it goes for a flamethrower, it allows my Manaphy to come in and just tail glow. If and regardless, I can just go to my Ladias and I'll tank any hit Gudra throws at it except for Draco Meteor. And Draco Meteor allows my Scizor to come back in and just clean the game up. It's actually looking better than Manaphy at this position. So I really think that the game was kind of cleaned up, even with a non-healthy Manaphy, Scizor would have won this game. Because he has he has no way to prevent my Scizor from setting up. With, with his, without, like, his only way to prevent my scissor from setting up is the Gudra, is the Gudra Flamethrower me. Actually, let me just make sure, scissor versus Weezing. I mean, but the thing is, Weezing, okay, see here, the thing is, Weezing, even if it, okay, that's 19 to 23, how much health does the Weezing add? I think it's below that. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, we'll, we'll see the Weezing health later, but, um, I think even if the Weezing is not in range of a plus zero uh, bullet punch, then even then the Weezing is never going to be able to come in on my Latias. Anything that can beat my Latias allows me to set up with my Scizor. Um, me just missing Draco versus Steelix or something, like, or me not even going for Draco versus the Steelix, and him killing me allows my Scizor to get an SD, and I need an SD so I can KO the Gudra with a bullet punch. and. Um, his Clefable, I mean, if his Clefable is like Flamethrower, I guess it could halt setup, but I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if I could tank a Flamethrower. Actually, I don't have too much setup. Anyway, the reason I'm talking about this is because he does have Dragon Tail. Otherwise, I would have won right there if he wasn't, um, 
if he wasn't like Fire Fang or like even Rest wouldn't have won, I think. So he actually has Dragon Tail. So it means that I need to set up my Scizor later if I want to win with it. But um, I just fire off a Scald right here. I think it's like just a safe move. I, I have no real reason to have to predict right here. Because I didn't think that this Clefable had Thunderbolt actually, but he reveals it right here. Uh, that was a roll. This getting a kill on my Manaphy right here is a roll. I think it's slightly in my favor. I actually didn't expect him to have Thunderbolt, so that's why I would- I mean, this Scald doesn't kill, and I knew that a Scald plus a plus 3 Scald would not kill the Clefable, but I do get the roll right here on the Clefable. The thing is, if I didn't get- if he didn't get the- if, um, if he didn't get the roll, uh, if he did get the roll, I just go to my Scizor ISD and I win with that. Um, yeah, I mean, I didn't really see a way for him to win. Even just damaging the man, even just damaging the Clefable like this makes my Latias itself in a position to win because he no longer has anything to take on my Latias. So yeah, I think this game was pretty much wrapped up. Um, the Toxic Miss, I guess. I mean, the Toxic. If he, I think if he hit the Toxic, he might have forced my Latias to Healing Wish earlier if I wanted to win with Manaphy, or he would have forced me to win with the Scizor or the Latias. But I don't think it would have won him the game to hit the Toxic, is what I'm trying to say. But um, yeah, he just sacks his Weezing. His Weezing was in range of a normal BP without a boost, of course. But that wasn't really relevant. It was just, yeah, because I can't, I can't Oko the Gudra with a BP from here. But I do reveal the Ice Beam right here, take out the Gudra. And this man is just going to clean the rest of teams. So that's going to be the game. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, do your thing. And yeah. I'll see you guys later. Let's wait for the Steelix to die. And Pokemon Go is a good game. Play it. Get outside. Stop watching my... No, keep watching my videos, but play Pokemon Go. Anyway, see you guys later.